here at Gateshead Recovery Connections. I recently completed some training on suicide prevention, which is what I've got this certificate for, and it's one of the many opportunities I've had since becoming an ambassador. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Uh, I'm an also an ambassador at uh, Gateshead Recovery. I've done a course with Karen, uh, suicide prevention. Uh, very powerful, but uh, well worth it. And ongoing, we have uh, new premises in the Lean Lane. Um, looking forward to doing things in there, going forward, and we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye. Hello, my name's Simone, and I've just finished rehab. I've done six months in there, and I've been finished for about three weeks. Um, I'm currently enrolled on the ambassador course now. Um, first week I've done on Monday, um, and I'm hoping to become an ambassador and to help other addicts and struggling struggling addicts and addicts in recovery as well. Um, thank you. Hi. Just again. Yep. Welcome to Recovery Connections, Liam Lane. Come on, we'll show you where. This is reception on the right hand side. And we'll take in to introduce you to two guys who work for um, Gateshead Recovery Connections. This is. Michael, hi Michael. All right. And this is Claire. Recovery coaches of Recovery Connections. Hi, welcome again. This is uh, one of the main rooms here where we do some of the, the group courses, uh, smart, recovery wellness, men's groups, women's groups, all them type of groups we've got doing at the moment. Good. Hiya, this is the reception area and we've got a nice little hatcher into our lovely kitchen. Come on, I'll show you inside. So this is our lovely facility that we've got here at Bloom Lane and this is where Michael does cookery lessons with all of the rehab. And I think today he's making cottage pie. So in here, we've got our main event space, come on through. So this is our big event space where we're going to hold graduations, uh, sober socials, Zumba classes, parties, um, and rehab graduations as well as the ambassador gra graduations. Yeah, as well as that, um, we also are going to have the Christmas parties here. The uh, Halloween parties, oh, you name it, we've got it going. We've got it going. And we're going to have more than that. Uh, so, yeah, and maybe come up with an idea about the Naples. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> and <laughs> Hang on. Sharing a bit, being very nervous, yes. Um, sad times. We might even have a bit of a guy Bring it on! <laughs> Hi, my name's Kirsty. Hi, my name's Trudy. And where would we, we have? have? <laughs> when we have a Gain Said Recovery Partnership, I'm three months in the six month program, and I'm nearly three months into my recovery as well. Normally on a daily basis we spend more time in Jackson Street on the morning we do recovery at Wellness or Stepway and today we're in Liam Lane cooking, making some home beef pie Home beef pie, <laughs> cottage <laughs> pie <laughs> <laughs> Once we've cooked today we're, we're then going to eat the food <laughs> then we're going to head back up to Gateshead See you next time. <laughs> Hi, uh, this is Tracy. Tracy works for CGL. She runs the ABI course. 
Um, and she's just going to tell us a little bit about what she does um, and how it all works. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tracy and I am Programmes Recovery Coordinator here at CGL. Um, my role here is to deliver all of the structured uh, group work um, and that involves Foundations of Recovery and ABI. And I'm here to talk about ABI today. Um, ABI stands for Extended Brief Intervention and that is for anyone that is following the alcohol treatment pathway within CGL. Um, this is delivered over four weeks and um, so clients would need to come in and do like one session a week um, over two hours and this is um, to explore you know the effects of alcohol uh, both physically and mentally and also understanding what uh, their own triggers and cravings look like uh, because once you know if someone can't understand what those cravings look like they can start looking at what coping strategies they would like to put in place. Um, the clients are supported um, to map out their own recovery capital and explore resources available to develop and to sustain their recovery. There's no quick fix and that's not what we promote, what we promote in those four weeks. It is a process, uh, but we see this as being the, the first steps to moving forward and making changes to their alcohol use and behaviours. Laurie, I'm the prehab coach at Gateshead Recovery Connections. So my role is um, kind of a first port of call when people come in and they want to talk about rehab options. So we have a day hab programme here that is 24 weeks. Um, and basically you come every day, um, just like a normal rehab. Um, we do loads of different things. Um, we have a little look at 12-step recovery. We have a look at kind of CBT based stuff, we do a recovery a wellness course. So my job really is just to talk to people about what we do and what their goals and aspirations look like and what their recovery might look like. Um, so they do kind of a few sessions with me um, and we, we very much create a pathway into what rehab might look like for them, um, working alongside their coordinators from CGL. So people might need a detox, um, Anything prehab, that's what I do. I look at, um, at where they're at now, what we need to do to get them to where they need to be. Um, and yeah, and just explore all of the things that we do here. I'm really lucky enough as well to get to support the rehab team. So um, yeah, I work alongside our lovely coaches, Karen and Jo, and just support them in all aspects of, of, of day hab and rehab here. Um, I'm in recovery myself, so I'm really fortunate that I access loads of different recovery capital myself. So I'm able to talk to people who might not have heard of things like AA or NA um, or SMART and just give, hopefully, a really good kind of idea of what those things entail and what they look like. So yeah, that's what I do. I love it. Good morning, uh, Jimmy here at the uh, Gateshead Recovery Connections at Jackson Street. I'm here um, shadowing um, Jaylind from the Needle Exchange. We do a lot of different things working with uh, CGL and I'll just hand you over to Jaylind. Hi, I'm Jaylin. So I'm the Harm Reduction Recovery Coordinator and we find me most days in the Needle Exchange. And this is kind of a room of providing harm reduction and harm minimization advice plus also having conversations about bloodborne viruses. We do testing and really what our goal here is to make sure that people are finding confidential care, um, getting seen to if they have any injection related wounds, getting clean equipment because our goal is to find micro elimination of hepatitis C, which is most commonly shared through um, injection equipment. And plus what we also do as well is we hand out and make about 200 offers of naloxone a month. Um, so this is a kit and that's what it looks like. And we give about two kits out to each person that presents into the needle exchange. Hi, I'm Craig. Um, being the day hub now and uh, I've got one week left of me six months. Um, I was feeling really good about it and uh, done really well. Learned a lot of things. Now I'm, I'm doing the ambassador course now, and uh, it's just bringing us on loads. I'm just looking, so looking forward to the future now. I feel like a new person. Yep.
Hello, my name is Amanda and I work for Gated Recovery. I'm a criminal justice community coach. I'm currently at Cuffbad House where I'm delivering some outreach just to try and get people involved with our service or just having a chat with them. Um, we're also going to be doing foundations of rehabilitation, which is going to be looking at people who, are, who offend and who are working alongside probation. Hi, I'm just going to give um, a little book review. This book is called Mum, Can You Lend Me 20 Quid? It's by Elizabeth Burton Phillips, MBE. Um, this moving and honest book gives an often overlooked insight that every addicted person has a family that suffers along with them. I found it very relatable being the mother of a child who died from addiction. The author went on to um, set up the charity Drug Farm, which provides support to people suffering from addiction and their families. And it's a hard read, but it's a really good, interesting read.